So I would explain you today on what happens when your drop NA is not working. So this is a data set which uh, I have taken as a loan prediction major project on my Udemy course. So let's just, I'll give you a peek in this data that we've got a few columns and uh, there are like 614 uh, rows and 13 columns which are working. Well. And when you check the null values, so we've got various null values in various columns. You get it in gender, in married, and also you see here self-employed, loan amount, and so on. So there are various ways on how do you really deal with null values with different data types. And the data types are different like float, object, integer, and so on. So I have dealt with this in depth in the course. And um, I'll provide a link in the description box to do the data analysis and different types of manipulating your data and drawing useful insights from your data. So as of now, we are sticking to one common problem which I faced and I've got many requests for that also. If drop NA is not working. So what I do is I, I use this column DF married and I want to just drop the number of rows which is having null values. So this X is zero is will locate the ID or the go, go to the ID and in place is set through so that it just uh, drops the null values there. And then what I do is I just write here dot is null is null dot sum command to give me to return me the number of uh, null values and it shows me the same three the output is same as the previous null value so that means they have not been removed now how do you deal and tackle such a situation when drop and is not working with pandas it is actually a problem because i have also experimented this with various commands and this is not working so we are using a different command now and that is subset so what happens here is, is that this subset will take the a look into the columns which from wherein you want to drop the null values. So what I use is df.dropna and I'll use the subset equals to and I'll mention the name of my columns from where I want to drop these null values and I will set in place equals to true. Alright, so that it drops the null values from those columns. And when you will hit this, you will find that yes. From the gender and from married, I have just used it uh, both together. The null values are being removed. So this is how you can drop the null values by using subset when drop NA is not working. And more, more ways and methods are used in the course. How do you really fill these um, null values of self-employed, loan term amount, credit history and also your um, option of uh, loan amount, right? Okay, so yeah, enroll in the course and get to know various ways on how you can manipulate the data. Link I'll provide in the description box. Um, thank you.